global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings Today. We have a trending news here for you and the headline reads, Finally, Somoyele Sore and Bakare released from detention. DSA is to pay him a fine of 100,000 Naira. Alright, but before we go on with details of the news, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification in time we publish videos on YouTube. Alright, let's look at the news in detail. The Department of State Services has finally released the right human rights activist and presidential candidate of the African Action Congress. In the February 20, 2029 general election, Mr. Omoyele Soare, his co-detainee at Debayo Bakare, was also freed. They were freed hours after Justice Ijoma Juku of the Federal High Court in Abuja has given the DSS 24 hours ultimatum to release the two men. Their lead defense counsel, Mr. Femi Falana, who is a senior advocate of Nigeria, confirmed this development. On Thursday, he said they were released at about 7 p.m. on Thursday. They were released about 30 minutes ago, according to him. They were released to one of our lawyers, he said. He also disclosed that the agency has paid the sum of 100,000 naira awarded against it by Justice Ojuku for making the court to adjoin till Friday for frivolous reasons on Thursday. The two men who are now being prosecuted by the federal government on charges of treasonable felony were arrested in August over their call for revolution protests against what they describe as bad governance. But they, they had the DSS continued to hold them in custody despite se separate court orders ordering their release. It came to a head on Thursday when the judge who frowned at the conduct of the DSS issued a fresh order directing the agency to release them within 24 hours. Earlier in the day, a group of half-naked women from Sores Bed Place in Kiribo, a Seodo local government area of Ondo State, had stormed the Federal High Court Abuja to protest the continued illegal detention of their son by the DSS. Most of the women, numbering about 30, were decked in white wrapper and bra but with no clothes covering the rest of the upper part of their body. Alright, um, that is the news. Uh, we are so excited right now. Nigerians are all excited. That at the end of the day, the rule of law has prevailed. It seemed as if it wasn't going to be possible. Several, according as you've heard in the news, several court orders were given and it was disobeyed by DSS in two occasions until when this justice gave them 24 hours to release um, Sore and his uh, uh, co detainee uh, Adebayo Bakare. Don't forget that Sore actually called for a revolution non protest, which he termed it to be, you know, uh, armless uh, protest, and it was scheduled to take place on August 5th, 2019. But by 1.25 a.m. on August 10, which was a Saturday, he was arrested by the DSS and taken into custody. Uh, he was taken before the court and there were conditions of bail that were given to him. About a month ago, those conditions were made, but DSS blatantly refused to release them. And uh, despite all the cry out from different quarters, I could still remember uh, one Mr. Deji. Adeyanju, and also the wife of uh, the wife of uh, Soare, she even had to go outside the country to protest. Uh, with different person, uh, different uh, agencies, uh, both uh, national and international, called for his release. It was all over the social media. Nigerian talked and talked. It was still falling on uh, deaf ears. But finally. They have obliged by releasing him and they have paid the sum of a hundred thousand naira 
to him and thumbs up to the man who is was at the face of it all the forerunner i'm talking about the person of uh, femi fallon a senior advocate of nigeria who is also a human rights activist lawyer he had stood um, and stood the test of time by ensuring that the fundamental human rights of these two persons have uh, were protected he did all in his power to ensure that so ray is released don't also forget that even the international bodies had been sending a lot of uh, you know uh, sending a lot of call out you know for the release of these two persons but to no avail and this is one of the issues that we're going to be discussing right now the issue of you know certain uh, arm of the government believing that they are more powerful than other others and how do they show this by disobeying court orders the judiciary is um like we normally say the last hope of the common man and if we go to the judiciary and they look at the law don't forget that we have three arms of government the executive legislature and the judiciary the judiciary are in charge of interpretation of the law the legislature are the ones making the law and if you have gone to them and they said hey via the law we've gone through the law this is our position concerning this and uh, you refuse is a clear indication that you are trying to prove that you are above the law by disobeying the rule of the law and that is one issue that must be taken into consideration as much as we know as as much as uh, we've been told by the law no one in nigeria is above the law even the dss they are not above the law they are under uh, the control of the law so if the law says that you have to release people and they uh, refuse i think even that hundred thousand naira fine put on them it was too small because how can you just wake up and refuse to obey court order if it was done by another person and you know a lot of terrible things would have happened so i think even the 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 the, the judiciary needs to you know brazen up and forget about the fact that these guys are maybe possibly the watchdogs of some persons and try to see how they can sanction them when they mess up because this is really really out of hand human fundamental human right we traded upon and it just feel that it was normal they were even talking about taking the two um partners that's the two guys two detainees to the prison if not for the fact that uh, Father Femi Falana was one person who refuses to give in to their trade and to, you know, whatever they're trying to do, he was always showing them the law. I, I, I believe that by now these guys would have been in prison. So thumbs up to um, the justice who gave them a 24-hour ultimatum to do what they're supposed to do. This man is released now and I uh, think he will still be going for trial on the 6th of uh, 6th of December. Uh, yeah. It will be going on trial again, I think, on the 6th of uh, December or so. And, you know, he will still be continuing till he will be finally freed by the federal government, depending on the verdict of the judge. Looking at this, what do you have to say about the final release of Soare from the prison? Well, this is victory to not just Soare, this is victory to the rule of law, this is victory to Nigerians. Finally, the voice of Nigerians has been heard. But what troubles me is the fact that it has to take the whole of Nigerians to react. It had to take activists to go on the street. It had to take the social media to go agog. It had to take uh, uh, persons like uh, um, Suinka and the rest to put lend their voice, FFK to lend their voice, and all or what not to lend their voice. International bodies had to come in and say, "Look, there is, there should be peaceful protest, and those who are activists should be given freedom." Was that when you, you know, undermining the the the, the, the arm, the judiciary arm of uh, government, was a case of trying to uh, uh, put an imbalance to democracy because all three arms of government are very important for democracy to be sustained. We do not take the hearing or the verdict of the judge when it is favorable to the government. And when it is unfavorable, the trade under the carpet, it clearly shows that you don't respect the rule of law. And kudos to the judge who 
despite i'm sure he has been under pressure one way or the other despite the pressures he decided to take the bulls by the horn you know does he have to take a, a nigerians in diaspora each time the the presidency travels down out, out abroad that they have to you know protest on the street of wherever he's residing for him to hear does he have to take uh, uh, women, you know, young women from on those states to go almost half nude just to you know, register their displeasure. Does he have to take the whole Nigerians, you know? And I'm just wondering if so worry of this magnitude, so worry that was that is a one time a, a, a presidential aspirant, the last uh, gubernatorial president uh, presidential elections that took place in Nigeria, and the fact that he is um, uh, the CEO of uh, Sahara Reporters. You can imagine the kind of person he is has been detained despite court orders concerning his release and it was flawed. He was not obeyed. How much more a common man who probably does not have a voice, a common man who probably does not have who, who would meet all the bail term. That means it would have been a forgotten issue. But could those that one way or the other have, uh, rule of law was upheld though it took so much honestly it had to take nigerians to shout free story now you know hashtag free story but it doesn't speak well of rule of law, rule of law but then the fact that finally dss i also feel just like my colleague i feel hundred thousand was way too small Honestly, it was way, way too small as a, a fine. They should have put it in millions, really, so that next time they will know that judiciary is not joking. But this is a good sign in the right direction. I feel that if you ask me, judiciary should really brazen up to their to their um their their call because right now the common man's right is being trampled almost every other time. And if they do not stand strong in that aspect, then Nigeria's democracy is actually under siege. But if they stand tall. And protect their own arm of government, regardless of who is in the executive of le or legislature. Then the common man do have a hope in Nigeria. All right, thank you very much. That's where we're going to leave it. Please go to your comment section. Let us interact. What do you think about um, the release of Sore? Do you think that the rule of law has finally prevailed? And do you think that at the end of the day he will be uh, totally free from the charges that have been brought up against him in future? Right then, just go and comment on the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can.